Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm Get Dave. So, we need to get into this gold tower, but it's been locked and the key was... Spy in Southtown had it. That sounds like Mara to me. Or at least her husband. The key was never found, so that bodes well for us. Mara, do you have a key? Look, here it is. Found it. I'll get my revenge. Key. That sounds stable and reassuring. So, we've got the gold key. Now we can go into the gold tower. And now we just have to go west. It looks like you can fly anywhere, but uh, it sort of generalizes where you try landing, so as long as you land somewhere on Gold Isle, you'll always appear at that spot. Holy crap. Beast zombies. Okay, it looks like I can dodge these guys pretty well. But they do a fair bit of damage when they hit you. Holy crap. I just got super hit. I don't like that one bit. Spears Orb. Uh, yeah, sorry. Level 6 Spear is too tantalizing. I am tantalized. I be believe it's called the Okeanid Spear. <laughs> no one was using this place. Oh, that never gets old. 3,000, and we can afford it. That would have been a bad detail to overlook. All right. Okeanid Spear. Boy, the gloves are weak. Eight points weaker, and they're on the same level. That's pretty shameful. All right, I'm going to leave the girl at her current amount of life, because, uh... I don't know. Because why not? That's what. Does it knock people out? Yes, it does. Dark ninjas. Oh, man. This upgrade was totally worth it. Knocked out. Knocked up. These guys are not a threat at all anymore. You can see the little uh, wizard eye. Yeah, he fell, he fell asleep right there. That was pretty cute, actually. I'm gonna knock him out more. Those scary beast zombies. Looks like we've got a bunch of charges ready. Not that we landed any of them. At all. That was kind of embarrassing. I'm gonna knock him out first next time. Okay, finish him off, team. No? I'm a little confused as to why the computer just drops its charge. Like, the sprite fired one and the computer just... The boy just killed his. Oh. Spiky Tiger round two. We'll give him a quick scan and then I will probably spam Undyne on regardless, but... Might as well investigate what his weakness is first. Holy cow. I have a feeling Shade would probably be effective here. Mm, that didn't do big damage, so... The boy just got super killed. Is he not, like, fully equipped or something? Viewers, did I overlook something? Maybe I did. Maybe he's not wearing any armor. Oh, goodness. Well. 
That's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. If any of you noticed that back when it happened, you give yourself a point. Alright, you're gonna try spamming magic on me? Two can play at that game now. I'm doing this solely out of a desire for revenge from, uh, last time. Gonna do a quick investigation. Looks like Undyne's the best option, because she's almost on level four, and that'll be a pretty significant, uh, power bonus, so... Yeah. Keep doing it, Sprite. Looks like they're still not terribly effective. 100. How the girl got hit from up there physically, I don't know, but... Level 6 Fireball. That looks painful. Glad I have armor on now. down here. I got something for you. Yeah. Always nice when you can land one like that. That was purely timed. I almost feel underleveled because the normal attacks are not working too well. And we can try... Spam a little salamando, or not. One. Okay. Undyne it is. Looks like the only thing that's really working is fully charged attacks. Unfortunately, they are a little hard to get off on him because he's so bloody agile. Are you going to hop down here, or are you going to waste everybody's time? There we go. And it looks like the sprite nerfed my fully charged attack, so that's, uh, that's special. If you're playing with humans at this spot, you make sure they don't do dumb stuff like that. going to hold back because I know there's another boss coming later in here and I want to have something in the tank for him. Let's see what the... We've got lots of MP on the girl, so we'll try working some of that. 726 hit points. Okay, so that's landing a couple charged blows. Big nukage on the sprite, that's always fun. Even though the sage told me that uh, Jock had come to uh, this palace, I almost would be tempted to do the moon palace first, because, uh... No? Nothing doing? Okay. Because uh, you can get uh, some kind of useful magic at the moon palace. Uh, in particular, MP drain. Bam! Chopped your head off and then killed you. What? Okay, you're not dead. Well, he fooled me. I didn't remember that detail either. 160. He's got to be getting close to death. Yeah, now you're dead. Slow down killed you. Yeah. If you go to the Moon Palace, the sprite can get this move called Magic Drain. It drains the enemy's MP. It costs one magic point. You always get at least one magic point if the enemy has any. Uh, it's pretty sweet because you can just keep spamming it until uh, you get what you want. Alright, we'll go a little bit further and then we'll can it for this let's play. Axe's Orb, that's nice. Can't go down there, so we go up. 
not sure where that beast zombie is, but I'm sure they'll take care of him. Hey, dude. A lot of the ninja enemies are quite hard in this game. Okay, what's your excuse? I already killed my guy. So we'll call it here, we'll go up those staircases and fight the next boss. I'll see you next time.